The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Yeah. Good afternoon to everyone. Yeah, uh, I am Nagaraju Jupaka. So, I have the almost 16 years experience of CAD and BIM. So far, I handle a lot of uh,
say if you see different type of cooling towers okay it's a huge quantity of water we can reduce the temperature here these are the chillers this is a chiller we are supplying the water from cooling tower to chiller we call as cold water and here we are calling chilled water okay i will explain this cycle again cooling towers chillers here we have the based on this uh, cooling methods we had two different kind of uh, coolers chillers sorry one is air cooled chillers and water cooled chillers this is a hair handling unit okay see this is section of this air hair handling unit here chilled water will supply in this coil okay in hair handling unit we have the blower initially we discussed about the fan what fan will do it will circulate the air okay blower is kind of the fan here chilled water will circulate in this coil okay in chilled coil evaporate the water chilled water that coolness will circulate into the room through this blower okay i will go back a little bit here okay see this is cooling tower okay normal water will come to top and cool water will come into bottom okay this cool water supply into the chiller okay it will circulate through coils inside and it will get some temperature okay. it will go into the again back to cooling tower why to increase the efficiency of that cooling tower we can take the normal water again okay this cooling water okay lesser than the temperature of this atmospheric temperature right so again here also chilled water okay chilled water supply to the ah through coils it passes and it will come again into the chiller to increase the efficiency of the chiller here also same thing will happen if we need the heating okay instead of chilled water we will send into the cool water or sorry heat water or steam there instead of chillers we use the boilers for this cold countries so now here cool water generated in h sorry coolness is generated in h okay this is a chillers through chillers we are getting the chilled water into h okay inside we have the blowers okay blower is throwing the cool air into outside we need to distribute this air conditioning conditioned air to our rooms okay so here we need some media okay. to carry the air condition air we need some media okay this media we called as duct which is carries the conditioned air into our space or room this is called as duct for example 
which is carry the liquids and gases we call as pipe which is carries the air we call as duct okay in air conditioning system we have different kind of the ducts and we can call as systems okay here we have the supply duct or supply system return duct or return system exhaust and fresh air what will happen here what will happen here so so air conditioned conditioned air supply through the duct okay so we supplied the conditioned air into the room and whatever and this same air circulates and into h okay what is coming back air from the room to ahu we call as return duct okay air exhaust duct exhaust exhaust duct means so air air is continuously coming from h to the room okay and again it's coming room to ahu so some contamination will happen in room because work will going on and people will leaving there okay so to avoid this contamination we need to give some fresh air we need to supply some fresh air okay for example 10% of the fresh air we are supplying okay and we need to rem same amount of the air to atmosphere so if you feed continuously into the room it is not possible to bear everything okay for example if you take the balloon and feed into the air continuously what will happen it will be burst same thing will happen here so to avoid this kind of things we need to release some air into atmosphere we call as exhaust okay and we need to give some input as a fresh air okay to avoid the contamination here in duct distribution system we have the different type of ducts it's a based on shape okay we have rectangular duct round duct oval duct and flexible ducts so for example we need use quantity of the air supply okay for that cases we use the rectangular or square ducts okay and to get the air flow in efficient way for small scale things we use the round ducts okay oval duct where is the ducts visible into the our room okay in that cases we use a oval duct and uh, flexible ducts the flexible ducts uh, here we are supplying the air into the room okay so the supplying the room through one terminals we call as air terminals where the air terminals and duct will connect there we use the flexible duct to avoid the noise okay if we connect the diffuser with sheet metal duct or gi duct it will make the noise if you use a flexible duct which is made by the cloth or rubber kind of thing it will avoid the 
nice. See, <clears throat> if you see this picture, here we are supplying the air through duct. Okay. This is our our duct routing. In this routing, we have the different type of fittings. For example, this duct is going in this way, and one branch is coming in this way, and again it is going in this way. Okay. This branch duct is connecting to the this duct. Okay. This is one kind of fitting, and here this duct is turning here to this thing. Okay. Here we have the radial thing. This is called the one kind of fittings. I will explain the fittings again. See, if you observe this dies, okay, it's connecting here and coming down, and here we need the bend. Okay, again we have another branch here. So connect this branch. We need the one kind of fittings here so what kind of fittings we use where we use i will explain it this is the most important thing for the distribution see these are the elbows okay here to turn the duct we need the elbow as we discussed we have the rectangular duct and circular duct and oval ducts okay this is a rectangular elbow and oval elbow and radial elbow okay these are the t's okay for example if you see this picture here okay so one duct is coming in this way and another duct is connecting to this in this cases we need the t fitting see here here tap okay this is the same kind of thing for t okay here tap means we will connect the duct directly into the main duct okay this kind of fitting we call as tap if you use a fitting like this it's called as t where we need need to use a t and where we need to use a tap means for example one branch is connecting through main duct which is small size we use the tap connection where is the equal sizes are there we use the t connection and this is a cross so very rare case we use the cross in ducting most of case we will not use the crossings so why fittings where we need this kind of connectivity we use a y fittings these are the transition or reducers okay for example one duct is reducing for example we have the 400 by 400 duct okay 400 by 400 means 400 width and 400 height and according to our flow next duct will be 200 by 200 okay we need to reduce the size of our duct and same time we need to connect the two ducts at that kind of situation we use the transitions or reducers okay in reducers we have the two different kind of the reducers generally one is a eccentric and one is a concentric 
okay based on requirement we use it while discussing in revit we can find the clear quality about this these are the unions unions means to connect the two ducts same size of the ducts okay whether it is round or oval or rectangle if we connect the same size of the ducts we need to use unions we call as flanges also Endicaps. Endicap is where we place the end of the duct. There is no connectivity. We should close the end of the duct. There we will place the endicaps. Okay. These are all the called as fittings of the ducts. See, we, these are the duct fittings. Elbow, T, or tap. If the duct connecting with the same size, we use a T. Where the we connect the different sizes of duct, we use a tap. Okay, why? Okay. Again, here we can see dampers. In dampers, we have the different kind of dampers. One is the volume control damper and the fire dampers. The damper nothing but regulators. Okay. To control the volume we need damper volume control damper here we have the one term called a fire damper for example one duct passing through one room to kitchen okay kitchen is the fireplace if you take the hall and kitchen if there something happen in kitchen some fire accident happen in kitchen this fire damper will automatically close to avoid the fire into the hall. Okay. We will see some pictures about the fire dampers. This is a volume control damper. It might be manual as well as automatic. Okay. This volume control damper purely for to control the volume and airflow. For example, our room required 500 CFM, okay, cubic feet per minute. But in that we are getting 600 CFM. But we need to supply 500 CFM only. For that case, we use the VCD and we will control the airflow, okay. Fire dampers, this purely to avoid the fire accidents. Okay, if fire accident hacker, it will be closed automatically. If you see this uh, diagram, here air is coming through this branch and we need to discharge this air into room. To discharge this air into room, we use the air terminals or diffusers. Okay. In air terminals, we have the different kind of the air terminals. This air. We have the different kind of diffusers called four-way diffuser and two-way diffuser and one-way diffuser and the circular diffusers. If you take the four-way diffuser, 
if our room size is small, we will fix one diffuser in between of the room. It will spread the air, it will throw the air all four sides of this room. For example, one side will not required. Only one side is required, then we'll use the one way diffuser. For example, we need the air flow in two sides. Then we use the two side diffusers. Okay. This is nothing but four way diffusers. So it's and air is supplying into the room and this air again we need to supply it to the AHU. Okay. For those things we use return grills or return diffusers. Okay. This is also same thing like uh, supply diffuser only, but we use with louvers only. And <clears throat> here to avoid the noise, we use some kind of silencers in that. Okay, these are purely to avoid the noise. Generally air condition will design based on the how much cooling is required. Okay, so to reach that cooling, we will supply some air. Okay. If you supply that air, we will get some noise. For example, if we take one office, if we get the continuous noise, we are unable to concentrate on the work. So we need to control the noise. Then we use for silencers to control the noise. Okay. Here we have the work kind of controlling method in mice we use so insulation kind of things within the duct to avoid the noise see here another thing is the duct insulation for example duct is exposing to the atmosphere because of atmosphere temperature inside air may get temperature. So to avoid this kind of things, we will make some insulations with a different kind of materials. Okay. This is purely for to increase the efficiency and wastage of the coolness. See, if you see the fittings here, we discuss about the fittings. Here is a Y fitting. Okay, so here is another Y fitting. Duct is coming like this and going this way. Okay, see if here this is the main duct and this branch duct is connecting. Okay, this kind of connectivity called as tap. It's clear. And here, in starting slide, we discuss about the chillers and chilled water. Okay. In HVAC, we have the ducting as well as chilled water supply pipes. These major two parts in routing. That is, we use it to distribute the air. Okay. This chilled water pipe, we use it to supply the chilled water, supply and return. Okay. Here, if you take one chiller here, okay, chilled water is supplying to the AHU. Again, this chilled water is written to, again to chiller. Okay. This chilled water pass through coils and it will give the coolness to room okay. with the help of blower we will supply this cooling into room same concept if we observe the things to supply the chilled water 
we need different kind of the fittings of pipes same like duct okay here we need elbows here we need t okay and to control the flows we need different kind of valves to measure the thing pressure and things we need some axillaries here we need to understand few things which is connecting to the pipe to pipe we call it as fitting so most important thing in rivet okay what is fitting what are the axillaries we should know within the pipe where we connecting the components we called as fittings okay what are the things we are using to control the flow and what are these called as axillaries okay see here these are the cooling towers okay from cooling tower we are connecting the pipes to chillers here also we are using insulation to avoid the wastage okay again it also chiller hu okay connect from chiller to hu we need the insulations okay and if we observe this pipes this is the reducing t okay we have the one diameter of a pipe here and another diameter of the pipe is going to we need to connect these two things with the help of this fitting okay this for example if if you say this is a 2 inch pipe this is a 1 inch pipe okay it's reducing here this kind of fitting we call as reducing t okay if you observe things more or less same size this is only t okay this much of insulation we are using for the chilled water for the pipe size is very less but we need to give the more insulation to control the same temperature okay for example we are working on one rivet project we should concentrate on insulation also for example one pipe is going and we place this pipe just beside of this pipe okay there is no chance possibility to place the cap we need to concentrate on in insulation also for chilled water insulation is mandatory fittings where we use the chilled waters sockets t elbow in elbow we have two angles one is a 45 degrees and one is a 90 degrees okay while working in rivet project we should use what are the available fittings only for example i have 90 and 45 Okay. So there is no possibility to use some forty-two, forty-three kind of things. Union to connect that kind of size of pipes need union. Okay. It is solid. Okay. It is in yellow. Okay. It is in T. Now we discuss about this clamps to connect the two pipes. Plug. Okay. This kind of fittings we use in chilled water and as we discussed to control the things we need some axillaries okay valves are axillaries here we have different kind of the valves one is the balancing valve 
to control that to balancing the flow okay where is the butterfly walls and ball walls check walls generally butterfly walls we use for the pipe size more than 65 mm 5 diameter okay for this ball walls we use less than 65 mm pipes the check walls we use to non return walls for example flow is going in one way okay we should avoid the return those cases we use check walls So this is basically about air conditioning systems in MAP and if you see here ventilation is a part of the air conditioning systems. Most of ventilation things we use in car parking areas and kitchens okay to send the inside air into outside and to get the fresh air into inside here we use only fan kind of things So in ventilation we use in ventilation we use only fans to circulate the airs. Here we have also different kind of fans. So jet fans and blow airs, normal fans we can use different kind of fans. But here we no need to supply the cool air. For example, if you take one building we have the kitchen, toilets, and hall, and rooms, okay? Generally, we give the supply air into the room, halls, things. And for toilets, we will not provide the air conditioning air. From toilets, we will give the exhaust fans, okay? So here we discuss about the infiltration. Wherever we have the gaps, okay, air will pass through that gaps okay this condition and condition and air pass through door gaps windows gaps into toilets okay and toilet has the exhaust fan so automatically it's circulating the air condition into the toilets okay In this kind of things it will cover under ventilation For example, if you take the car parking area and cellars, we need to use jet fans okay, to supply the air in longer way. Okay, this is the basic HVAC concepts. And uh, if you have any clarifications and uh, any doubts, please uh, contact through phone or um, send emails. To. Okay, thank you.
Hello. Uh, so the team in Bangalore was was the session useful to you? Okay. Uh, did you guys have any problem in terms of you know the audio or anything, or uh, was it pretty clear? It was clear, sir. It was clear. So uh, what I would actually you know uh, request is that I just open the lines in Delhi also. Just one second. Uh, so I've just actually unmuted uh, the guys in Delhi also. Uh, was this session useful to you or uh, uh, Delhi, Anju? Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, Anju, I can hear you. Uh, was, this, yeah, was this session useful to you? Yes, the uh, session was very educative and uh, we learned a lot. Okay. So, in, in fact, you know, uh, one request that I would have, I also see that uh, from our services team, we have Vidhi also as a part of this call. But what I would actually request each one of you is whoever is there on the call, each one, it could even be one line, whether it was useful, not useful or whatever it is. I just request you to just send a line to me and tell me if in case there's some feedback, you want it to be better tomorrow because this would go on for the next four or five days. Also, let me know. If you know the pace of the session was okay, because actually uh, this man has a lot of content, but then you know uh, we also don't want it to you know put you to sleep. So I think for today he's actually he's he's stopping for today. But is this pace okay? Is this much content enough? You know per session, or you know you guys can take a little more. Maybe if you can just drop me a line, you know after this, uh, so that accordingly we can plan for tomorrow's session. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Definitely, we'll, we'll mail you all the, uh, whatever is the input. Yeah, please. And in case, uh, you know, you feel that the audio quality or something or the other, you know, there's some other problem also, please let me know so that tomorrow we will ensure that, you know, we don't have the same problems. Okay. And in Bangalore also, Niranjan, you, uh, I request, you know, each one in the room, I'm not sure who all are there, but uh, ensure that, you know, each one of you, please drop in a line directly to me. And if it was useful, it is useful. If you guys have some, you know, kind of input that you would like to give me, uh, so that you know, I would ensure that tomorrow's session is, you know, a little better. And in terms of content, also whether you know this much of content was okay to digest for today, or you feel you know it was too much, we should go a little more slower, is you know what you could also get to my notice. So you please, uh, each one of you, please drop in a line. And uh, see, the only idea is that we didn't want a break in between, so we trying to give you a lot of content and try to close this whole thing, you know, within this week. But otherwise, if you want us to go slow, it could take a little longer. And then I'm not sure all of you have the time, you know, in the day where you can spend, you know, two hours every day. So uh, drop in a line after this and thank you all for attending today's session. And I hope tomorrow, you know, we start exactly at two o'clock. So there is one request from uh, my colleagues that sure. for Mr. Nagaraju. Uh, yeah. If you can share the uh, PPT which you have shown, mm -hmm. that will be really helpful. Sure, Anju. So the idea is that I also share the recordings to all of you. I also share, you know, the the content also to all of you. So we will be doing all these things. In in any case, other than other than this request, if you guys have any doubts also in today, whatever was covered or anything like that, please drop in a line to me directly. Definitely, sir. Definitely, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And tomorrow I request everybody, you know, to be there at least five minutes before two so that we start exactly at two. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah,